you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 most overpowered players you need in Madden right now. Now, this list has changed tremendously. There's a lot of new things that have come out in the past week or so that I actually really do like. I probably altered, let's see, I altered one two three four five six i'll throw like six players on this list total and honestly i don't regret it i took off a lot of players who at that point were questionable when i put them on they were not questionable but by the time being of obviously like now with all these new cards coming out mud 10 coming out soon well new mud 10 card mud heroes october promo you know this list is obviously gonna be changing weekly it's not a it's not a lock to stick on a weekly basis why i make this video like once every week or so just because obviously it's always changing the landscape of madden's always changing and as i get new cards and try out new things obviously i'm starting to get a liking for certain cards and for the most part this is very opinionated from my side so obviously don't take this as like the law whatever i say is the best players always question always check stats and prices and remember when i make this list their prices are also included like if a guy has good stats but he's 900k i probably won't throw him on there if a guy has godly stats and he's a million coins, I will throw him on there if he's godly and I feel like he's worth it. But for the most part, I can't always justify a card at any overall just because they're good. But if, they, if their price doesn't match, like a player for 2 million coins probably won't ever return a profit in my opinion. People spent 2 million coins on Bo Jackson. He did really well. I spent 150,000 coins on Marcus Allen. He did really well. I mean... You could always make someone do well at a certain position without having to kill your entire coin stack. Like if I bought Randy Moss right now, I'd probably lose all my coins. Is he worth it? If you have the coins, possibly. But we'll get into that later in this video, guys. Before we get into this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. You guys have been smacking the sub button. We've been growing like crazy. Make sure to turn on that noti bell. Comment down below who you think should have made this list that did not. And make sure to hit that like button, boys. You guys have been killing it with the support and smashing the thumbs up button. Let's get 200 likes in this video, boys. Now let's get into this. So at number 10. A guy that at one point was not on this list because I thought he was too expensive, but his price is now is now decent. I I can deal with it. Now let's go by quality and name. Obviously, I think it'll be a little easier like that. So we got Brian Dawkins coming in at number ten. Now, Brian Dawkins did not make the initial list, and that was because he was going for over a million coins. But at 540k, he's really not too bad, and I think he'll come down even more. I probably still wait a little bit. Probably get him for like 350, 400 if you wait another week or two. Look at these stats. He's got 87 speed, 85 excel, 84 tackle, 89 play rec, 88 pursuit, 75 man, 89 zone, 98 hit power. Powered up properly, he could hit the play rec, pursuit, zone, and hit power threshold. This card's a beast. He can play coverage. He can ram you over like a truck. He's fast as hell. He's tall. This is like an all-around hybrid safety that could do it all. I really do love this card. Now, the next guy on this list is a guy that would be higher if his... I believe it's his man if his man was a little bit higher but i really do love him because he's athletic he can play zone i just wish his man was slightly higher and out of these house rules if i do happen to get him i will have no problem and i'll gladly start him it is darius slay jr 89 speed 88 excel 88 agility so right there he's an athletic freak 84 jumping 89 play rec 85 man 91 zone 85 press so if his presses if his press and man were both 87s i would love this card because i could power him up and chem him up and get him to the thresholds but for the time being you can only get a play rec zone threshold so he's still really good. You know Darius Slay cards always ball out, but I run a lot of man coverage, so I kind of want that man to be locked and the press to be locked. Next on the list is Julio Jones, another guy. If I get him out of the house rules rewards, I will have no problem starting him. I just don't want Phillip Rivers. Now Julio Jones is 87 speed, 92 jumping, 86 catching, 88 catch traffic, 88 spec catch, 90 short route running, 89 medium route running, 85 deep route running. Now for me, what I like about this card is the route running. A guy this tall with this speed and catching doesn't typically have that route running that's typically reserved for the smaller more antonio brown type receivers so i love the fact that he can run short and medium route routes really crisp as good as anyone else in the game right now with speed and height and he's can he's um he looks like a combine freak on the card 92 jumping i love this card another guy that if i get i'll be very happy about now next this list was a guy who had not made the list prior because he was limited time but thanks to Redux cards that they have added to the game, which I think was an awesome idea, he is now affordable. He's no longer millions of coins. He's now 500k, whether or not you want the Redux or the limited time one. So the Redux, if you look at it, 87 speed, 88 excel, 91 agility. Athletic freak again. 87 jumping, really good. 86 play rec, pretty good. 
89 man, 88 zone, 89 press. Now, if you guys know how I like my corners, I like them fast with man coverage. And if they got zone and press, that's even a bigger bonus. Look at this car compared to my Stefan Gilmore. So, Stefan Gilmore can get the man threshold, the press threshold, and the playwright threshold. But he's kind of slow, can't jump as high, and doesn't have good zone coverage. Desmond Trufant is faster, better agility, better jumping. He can get the play rec threshold if you power him up and then chem him up. He can get the man threshold too. He can get the zone threshold and the press threshold. And it's a lot easier for him too. And let's see what the catching stats look like. 67, 60. Okay, so that doesn't change too much. But again, this Desmond Trufant is a beast. I think he might actually be the best cornerback in the game. Again, I never considered him that because I made it very clear to you guys that I do not consider limited time cards the best anything because they're too expensive. But now they're not. Next is Shannon Sharp, 333k. I've seen him even cheaper than this, but again, it's just such a disadvantage. It's such an advantage at tight end. The tight end position in real life and in Madden always has an advantage because it's typically bigger style receivers that could also block. And they get matched up with, with linebackers, safeties, like not cornerbacks. They don't get matched up with these athletic beasts that like can cover them. And it's always been a mismatch. So when you have a slow tight end like Travis Kelsey, you don't really feel it. Urch, you don't exactly feel it. But when you have a guy like Shannon Sharp, who's practically another wide receiver out there. It's like running a four wide receiver set, depending on how many, if you have their other receivers, he's the fourth one. And if you guys have ever played Madden enough to know, like with tight ends, when you do out routes or in routes with your tight end, they make really bad route running cuts and they get open, but like it doesn't look pretty. So imagine if you had a guy like Antonio Brown, like, or like wide receiver, like running that route, how good that could be with speed. So I thought Kittle ran that route pretty good and he has no route running and decent speed. Sharp is faster. He's got 81 strength, 87 catching, 90 catch and traffic, 84 spec catch. So he gets the catch and traffic threshold, which is huge because tight ends always have like high point opportunities and stuff that I can't do with Kittle because he's not that good of a catch and traffic kind of guy. He's also got 84 spec catch, 85 route running across the board here, and 72 run block. I wish the run blocking was higher, but again, you could use both. I'll keep Kittle as my second tight end because I always have a second tight end in. I can max protect Kittle. I could use him as a run blocker, and then I could just have Sharp on the opposite side running routes. I think this is an awesome addition to anyone's team. So next on the list is going to be Howie Long. Now, Howie Long, a guy that probably got overlooked by a lot of people because of his name. But trust me, this card stat's pretty insane. And this price kind of reflects it. 79 speed, 85 excel, 89 strength. So right there for an end, that's acceptable. Good strength, good excel. Speed's adequate. 6 foot 5, 86 tackle, 90 play rec. Play rec hits threshold, tackle's really good. Block shedding 90, threshold, power move 90, threshold, 82 finesse. So he can pass rush with threshold, he can run stuff with threshold. I think this card's a beast. He's better than he's better than Aaron Donald, obviously. Would I rather have Aaron Donald? Obviously, because Aaron Donald's a long-term option for my team. But it's still just the point of, in my opinion, I think he's worth it for the time being. Now, next on the list is not Luke Keekly. It's Devin White, who I want to compare him to. Devin White, you get this card for free. For free, by the way. Like, literally, from playing the Gauntlet Solos, I think he's within the top three on this list. He's got 88 speed, right? 87 Excel. That's faster than most wide receivers and running backs. And he's six feet tall. So right there alone, if all of his other stats suck, the set power stat, who cares? He's a user card. This card right here will be the best user card in the game. Very close with Brian Chazier. Now, where he differentiates is that Devin White has a 90 tackle. Shazier does not. He's directional tackling, so he will not miss tackles. Or he will not let he will not get broken tackled on. Play rec 83. 81 block shed, which means he's good as a run stuffer. And 89 hit power, which means he can lay the boom. So you chem this guy up properly. He will have threshold hit power, threshold tackling, and if threshold speed was a thing, he could potentially get there too. Now, the best thing about having him and Shazier is that Shazier can run the zone with good zone coverage, with good play rec, with good everything else, and then you can use your Devin White. I think he's the best user in the game, and the best user in the game is definitely reserved for a top spot in the list because usering is such a big part of this game. Next on this list is a guy that I was hesitant to put on here because he's so expensive, but you, you just, you have to, right? Randy Moss, the greatest wide receiver in the history of Madden. Him and Calvin Johnson both hold that throne. 2.2 million coins, I know, but if you don't want that, you could always power him up. He is not too much of a drop off. The full one's got 91 speed, 92 jumping, 90 catching, 87 catch in traffic, 91 spec catch, and then 85, 86 short and medium route running, and 92 deep route running. Now, his other card has one less speed, one less jumping, three less catching, four less catch in traffic, which I kind of assumed, three less spec catch, four less route running, three less route running, two less deep route running. 
So realistically, he can get the spec. This one can get the spec catch threshold, deep route running threshold, catching threshold, and jumping and speed threshold. So he's really not too far off. I'd still highly recommend him. He's an awesome receiver. I use him now. He feels like Tyree Kill with hands. Now, first on the list, guys, I'm just going to search this by Kurt Warner so that I can compare it to a quarterback I have on my team. It is Lamar Jackson. I Guys, this car right here, the things I've done with this card, like, I think I actually go into games just trying to run with him because it's so much fun. The second he gets into open field, you can zigzag almost anyone on the other side of the field and still, like, usually with a quarterback, right, when you scramble, even with Blasio with Vic and stuff, you'd get past on a scrimmage, you get past linebacker, and then the safeties would chase you down. Lamar Jackson outruns safeties, and that's because at the point we are in Madden right now, a 90 speed, I don't think you guys understand how unreal 90 speed is. Most defenses are going to play, don't even have a defensive player with above 90 speed. And the quarterback has one who can literally scramble whenever he wants into open field whenever he wants with the skate artist. Lamar Jackson's done some crazy stuff. I wish I could put jukebox on him without having with having a skate artist on him, but you cannot. But for the time being, I think he's overpowered as hell. I'm so content with him as my quarterback. And he makes the majority of the throws I try to make. I mean, occasionally I feel the deep accuracy. But other than that, I feel every other throw is just fine. So I think this card's overpowered. The throw power could be a little bit higher, but that speed just makes up for all of it. Guys, that is about it for the video. Those are the top players I believe you need in your team right now. Take my opinion as you will. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, boys. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 9K as quick as possible. Turn on that noti bell and comment down below who you think should have made this list. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.